Yeah, that's right. I'm looking at you. I got to ask you the question. What does your account look like as of now in version 1.2? I'm genuinely curious because the game is still very fresh, still very new. So for example, for people who haven't pulled Alan, right? If you want to skip Alan, what are things looking like for you right now? And the same question goes for GUN. If you skip GUN, she was the only ether DPS in the game. So what is your account looking like now without that there, right? The thing is about Triple Z that's really cool. There's no such thing as someone being immune to an element. Thank goodness, right? Like, that's awesome. So you're never in a situation where something is literally impossible. No matter what, they're always just going to be resistant to it or they're going to have a weakness on it or they have just nothing at all where it's kind of in the middle. And what I've noticed uh, definitely happens a lot in this game is whenever someone is weak to fire, nine times out of 10, they're also weak to physical too. Let's take a gander over at Shu Defense. And right now, currently, you can see enemy weakness, fire and physical. Go to the second one, fire and physical. Third one, fire and physical. Fourth one, ice and physical. So there you go, now we finally switched over. Five, fire and physical six fire and physical and it goes back to ice and or actually no just physical and that's a good thing right because if you're going to have a lot of physical characters you don't want to have a bunch of physical resistances right billy nekomata corin piper jane caesar you know what i mean and a lot of these characters are actually just some of the beginning characters and that's actually what a lot of players like to do they try and have at least one character or dps that covers each element right especially when it comes to games like this. So we already went over physical, right? But if we take a gander over at fire, you know, you got Ben, defense unit, you got Lucy, supporter. And then if you manage to get Kaleida, you have a fire stunner. If you haven't, like myself, you don't have a fire stunner. You don't have that. Like literally just, you don't have that role in that element, right? But then there's a DPS who's Soldier 11. So it really matters like, you know, hey, this, this, the stage has resistance to fire, you know? Do you have to have the fire to fight it? No, but it'll definitely help you out. Then we have electric where Anton is the only real like DPS DPS and you have like the anomaly version with, with Grace. But besides that, you know, your support is Rena, your defense slash stunner slash anomaly booster is Seth. And then you have two stunners, Chingy and Ambi, right? So. Electric's kind of covered in terms of at least having people to cover it. Ether is pretty rough. Uh, it's only Nicole. And then your limited S rank was GUN a little bit ago. So that one's going to be a situation where I'd hope they wouldn't throw this at you too much of like, hey, I hope you picked Ether. You know what I mean? So, but either way, you still only, or you usually have at least a character, a character who can cover it, right? And last but not least, we have Ice, which is kind of in the same spot, except Sakaku is very versatile. So Sakaku is awesome. Uh, could be a DPS. I see a lot of C6 or M6 Sakaku DPSs. Um, Stunner, Lycone, and then you have uh, Alan. So once again, if you got Lycone, hey, you got yourself a premium Alan team and a Stunner who's under the Ice category. So... Someone like me, I'm missing that, so I'm using Rena instead, but using Ellen. Personally, I think the faction thing is pretty cool too, but it's not too important when it comes to who you pull and who you don't. But the faction thing is cool just because, you know, it, it's a, a fun little thing for the game to be like, oh, I got all this squad or that squad, you know? But the important thing is, which role do you have for said Ellen? I believe if you do at least 50 pulls, you will get a guaranteed S rank uh, on this list. And then if you do your 300 pulls, which most of you guys probably have not done yet, then you can actually just pick somebody out, right? So also one of those questions is like, you know, out the gate, who'd you end up with here? And who do you want to pick in the future? Because this doesn't really have to be important, but it can be important for you. If you're like, you know, I really want to finish my Ellen team. I'm going to pick Lyco, you know, or I really want to go this anomaly route. I want to pick Grace or, you know, I just like the cat character. I want to come up. <laughs> And I'm sure you've heard this about 6,000 times already, but take your time with the 300 pull guarantee thing, because there's a good chance you may lose on a limited banner to somebody that you actually wanted. You know what I mean? 
Like, let's say you really want a light cone and you wish on Bernice's banner to get Bernice and you lose the light cone. You know what I mean? So it's a good thing that it takes a while to reach the threshold to pick the character that you want from this list because you could easily lose that character, right? I know for me, I was like, oh, I'll pick Rena. And then sure enough, the next freaking banner I lose on, it was Rena. So now I have uh, M1 Rena. So don't be like me. Um, don't try to rush the standard one. Just keep wishing and see who you get along the way. And then down the line, you'll end up with all kinds of dupes of these characters. It won't even matter anymore. So if you're new to gacha games, you may not know. But if you've been playing gacha games, then you definitely know all these characters. You're going to get limited versions of them later on who are going to be infinitely better. You know, infinitely better. Now, are they going to be like left in the dust? That I can't say for sure, but for sure there'll be like a new fire dps that does like twice the damage to soldier 11 you know what i mean there'll be you know maybe yanagi will be like the new grace right or, or you know lighter will be the better kaleida you know what i mean so like I, that always happens you know that's why the banners are differentiated but if you're new to gacha games once again you may not catch on to that but just know that's probably going to be the case so what did you do and what are you going to do I know a lot of people in my Discord, in my YouTube comments, and on Twitch chat, they skipped Ellen because they're waiting for Miyavi. So they don't have ice right now. They got GUN, but lost on Ching Yi's banner. So they're using Ambi with GUN. People skipped Ellen and GUN and went for Jane Doe, going down the anomaly route, right? People skipped Jane and went for Caesar and just have Caesar. <laughs> You know, so it depends on like what you're trying to go for, what you have already. Some people even hyper invest, like get their Mindscape cinemas on GUN, right? They get their W engine, maybe some dupes on that, like just have a super GUN, right? So there's always that case. Then there's the possibility of factions working together pretty well, cutting hairs, you know, Billy, Nicole, uh, Ambi, right? You know, housekeeping squad, you can do Rena, Alan Lycone, Kelly Don crew, you can do Caesar, pretty much anybody, Lucy, and then Piper, I guess, and Lighter's your stunner. Yeah, maybe not that one, but you know what I'm saying. It's not too often where the squad will work together as a full team, like a full three man team, but you know, there's usually at least one other character who works pretty well to give them the additional ability core buff. So, like GUN and Ching Yi, right? I know a lot of you guys want Bernice. So what you can do there, go online, see if Jane Doe actually works well with her, and you can maybe reconsider the rerun for Jane Doe, and then, you know, when you have Bernice, or take a look at Yanagi, right? Wait for the live stream with the trailers, or if you wanna know some dreams, look ahead and see, you know, how she works with her. So just always keep in mind, try and get the synergy with Bernice or whoever character you're trying to get. What is your take on W engines? How do you feel about W engines? For me personally, I skipped every single one. I haven't pulled a single W engine that's a limited one. Um, Caesars is especially good. They are good, don't get me wrong. They are good. Ellen's was like a major crit rate buff. GUN's was a crit damage buff. Ching Yi was a team wide buff for like 20% damage and it helps her stun or it gives her more impact. And Jane Doe's is, I think, like, a, what is it, 20 or a 30% increase or like gap between the free to play ones and her signature. So that's very good for Jane. And then Caesars is also very good for her because she doesn't really have too many other options. I use the one that's like a max HP one and it gives you like a little bit of, a little bit more days, I think. Yeah, I use this one right here. So the original Transmorpher. And what's cool about it is you don't actually have to level it up because you don't really care too much about the base attack. I guess you could, but, and especially the HP, right? You really just want the stat at the bottom, you know, and, and we want, you want refines too. But yeah, for me personally, I prioritize the characters over W engines. That's why I have so many polychromes left because one, I got very lucky, but two, I never pull W engines. So if I get the character, I stop and I'm good. And yeah, they are very good though. Don't, don't get it twisted. They are very good and they're very powerful. They make the character a lot better. But what are your thoughts on it? Do you, are you somebody who likes to be like a completionist and get the character and W engine always? 
or are you just waiting for that special character to get you know your w engine and uh character itself for you know like you know waiting for miyabi and getting everything right like i'm getting everything when she comes out right but yeah for me personally they're great but i've gone this far without getting a single one and i'm fine and i kind of made the mistake of doing that in genshin a long time ago where i always pulled for like everything and i just kind of steamrolled all the content and i was like oh and then i'm watching people who don't have this stuff and they're doing it too and i kind of felt like mm, didn't really need that stuff you know what i mean and now everything's kind of too easy so i'm trying to purposely dial it back with triple z and purposely not be strong <laughs> so i'll still struggle with the content but that's my take on it they're all great but I've gone this far without getting a single one. I think I'm going to keep it that way. I think my account's going to be a, a W engine less account, at least for limited ones. I do have, like I said, the soldier 11s, but the standard ones, but not the limited ones. So yeah, that's W engines. Then we have the bang boots. Now, a couple things about them. They are always going to be permanent, so they'll never actually go away. They have the same like pity number to hit as a W engine one. So they're not shared, but they just have the same like max pity to hit. And they're always gonna be guaranteed. So you never have to worry about losing to a bang boo. It's not gonna happen. You will always get the one that you're going for. But as far as the practicality of them, that's the best part. The ones that do damage or, you know, they do a little bit of extra damage on the side. I don't really care for those too much, but the ones like the Butler boot, that's awesome. Cause I give you energy regeneration. And if you refine them, look at that 20 to 25. So 30, 35, 40, you have 40 energy regeneration, right? For your, for your team. So that's awesome. If you have the refinements on them. Level them and invest into them, refine them, then you'll see how good they are. But yeah, at base, they can help a little bit. But like I said, only the ones that are practical, you know, or practical in the sense of grouping with Resna Boo. Resna Boo will group the enemies together every so often. So you don't really care too much about the damage exactly, but it is nice to actually group enemies together so you can fight them all in one clump, right? And you have HP with avocado boo or avocado boo <laughs> where they actually heal you and i believe the explorer boo heals as well or has the chance to shield regeneration and energy as well so the possibility of all three um so that's cool to have the ones that are practical the ones that help your team by healing them because there there is no healer in the game besides the the bank boo right so Heals with Avocado Boo or Explorer Boo, and then grouping with Resna Boo or Energy with Butler Boo. You know, so unfortunately, what's annoying about them is they do want specific requirements for the for the B, the B technique. But you know, hey, at the end of the day, the ones that are practical are awesome. Uh, Red Marcus, the new one, kind of groups enemies as well, like kind of pushes them in a circle towards you which is good. And Bang Volver uh, can actually give you more anomaly build up for your Jane teams. So the practical ones are good, but the ones that just do damage, eh, I don't know how I feel about those, but I'll keep waiting for some more, but yeah, don't sleep on your Bang Boo. You know, a Bang Boo can actually help you out pretty well if you're dedicated to a certain team. But for me, I chose Resna Boo and Butler Boo and Rocket Boo. And I'm thinking about getting Plug Boo, but I think I'm just gonna wait for other ones in the future. We got Sniffa Boo. No, but I'm gonna wait for ones in the future and see what else we got before I consider another one. Just to see like, you know, if it can be a little bit more versatile and not have the classic two of this team or two of this element kind of thing. So I'm just gonna wait on it. And lastly, how were your guys' pulls? How lucky were you guys? That's what I wanna know the most too. What were your pulls like? I got some people who have some ridiculous early pulls and some people who are having some really unfortunate hard pity every time pulls. So you can check out uh, zzz.rng.mo. Uh, it's actually a wish tracker or a search tracker for all your searches in the game. So here's mine. 
Uh, my W engine, I haven't gotten any S rank yet, as I mentioned earlier. Nothing to see there. My Bang Boo one, 67 for Butler, 31 for Resna, and 34 for Rocket Boo. Here's my exclusive channel. So you can see, yeah, our percentages are kind of up and down here. But 78 for Allen, 34 for Rena. It's a loss. 50 guaranteed GUN. 20 Ching Yi. That's a win. Uh, 81 for Jane Doe. Still a win. And then 8 for a season. So you can see, it hasn't been too bad for me. <laughs> so I still have a lot of the polygons that I've had uh, since the beginning. Because, you know, I only had a couple of hard pity ones. But yeah, besides that, it's been easy pickings. So hopefully it continues. But it's the reason why I don't have too many Mindscape cinemas on my A ranks, because I kind of just don't have to wish, haven't been wishing that much, besides Jane. And yeah, my polls have been pretty, uh, pretty good so far. Here is the incident. Uh, here is my standard poll banners. So, my very first 50 guaranteed poll, Soldier 11. My next one for standard at 77 pity. Soldier 11. The next one at 79 pity was Brimstone. That's Soldier 11's W engine, by the way. Then, next one was Grace. Next one was 53 pity for Soldier 11's weapon again. Brimstone, right? And then Grace again at 74. So apparently, I get everything in twos, <laughs> I get everything in doubles. So, yeah, don't ask me. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, Soldier 11 main for sure. And apparently Grace too now. But those are my pulls. I'm not really complaining too much about the two Brimstones. Actually comes in handy a lot. I use it on GUN and Allen and Soldier 11. So, that's great. And shout out to uh, Chingy.com for the actual bell shirt. So, that's Chingy, uh, Q-I-N-G-Y-E-E. -E. So check them out. They have an Amazon channel where they actually sell the Triple Z shirts as well. But yeah, that'll do it for me. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what your wishes were like, what your polls are like, what your account's looking like right now. How far are you getting in Shu defense? Is it difficult for you? Did you get through ambush node? Do you like it? Disputed node? Stable node even? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, Triple Z's been super fun lately, you know, ever since the beginning and the devs are just freaking awesome. They have so many updates and they just listen to their feedback so much. A little too much sometimes, where now they're kind of like, you know, in a conflict with the TV mode. They don't know what to do. But yeah, they're awesome. Love the devs. Appreciate you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.